I am a huge fan of The Little Princess. <laughs> I cried and cried and cried for most of the movie. But um, it's great to see that The Little Princess has grown to be a successful woman um, in the field of philanthropy. And I would like to focus on that um, in terms of how do you invest your treasure. So you are a talented actress and your hobby is theater. I was wondering how um, do these interests translate into your work in philanthropy and how have the skill sets you've developed in these sectors helped you in the um, philanthropic sector? That is an excellent question. I think um, because I've thought about that a lot because I, I've stopped acting professionally now, but there's a lot that I've learned from my training as an actor that really does translate. So one, one of the best um, lessons that, that I was taught in terms of acting is whenever you approach a scene and whenever you approach you know, your relationship with the other character, always ask yourself, how do you want to make the other person feel? Mm -hmm. That directs your intention and your um, objective for that scene. So what, how are you trying to make that person feel right then and there? And the thing is, I think that that's actually a better life question. So when you walk into any situation and when you see someone, whether or not they look like you or whether or not they're from the same place or whether they have you know, two legs or are living in a refugee camp, how do you want to make them feel? And where I think philanthropy then takes it a step further and development takes it a step further from theater is how, not only how do you want to make them feel in this scene, but what about them in 10 years? What about them in 20 years? And so development is also about answering that question as well. But I think that that, that kind of, and I, I don't want to say empathy because it's a little bit different than empathy, but that um, thought process absolutely informs my philanthropy.